this is Tom Cloud with this week's Precious Metals Market Update. Today's going to take a few minutes longer than normal because we've got a lot to say. We have entered, last week I did a webinar for Jerry that will be released this coming Friday. I don't want to duplicate a lot of what I'm saying today, but I urge you to please, please go and watch this webinar that Jerry and I did last uh, week that will be available to the public on Jerry's website uh, this coming Friday. So uh, please go watch that. Let's jump right into it. We were talking about technical numbers last week. We have hit them. We've seen gold go above 1350 on the big news breaking this morning as I record this on Tuesday morning that over a billion dollars worth of gold has been bought. Over 30 tons of gold has been purchased and the source that bought it is pricing and trying to buy 40 tons more. We're in that window that I've been talking about for several weeks where China has to give their uh, gold reserves in audit form to get their special drawing rights October 1st. Exactly what I've told you all from at least the last three or four weeks is you've got to get position now because the fireworks have started. Gold is already up 29% this year in 2016 and we've seen the jump above 1350 that Jerry and I were talking about last week and we're up to 1364 as I film this with a, a 30 ton order being filled and a 40 ton order looking to be filled so somebody might know what China's going to say before September 15th as to how many gold reserves they have and if that number is huge, it probably means the U.S. that has failed to give a, has failed to audit the gold for the U.S. citizens since Eisenhower was president. We could see that all of our gold is not there. I mean, we would they wouldn't acknowledge it, but we can know from the amount of gold that China owns. So hold on to your seatbelts. And silver is up 49 percent this year in 2016 and this morning has crashed above 2050 has broken that barrier Jerry and I talked about for 10 minutes last week on the webinar and we're up to 2067 as I record this and we're looking at 22 to 24 dollars silver I think before the the special drawing rights were announced uh, and start on October 1st so it is imperative that you not sit there we got an incredible email this morning from uh, one of our clients whose brother-in-law is a missionary he'd been in Venezuela for two weeks and he was telling us that in Venezuela that one ounce of silver will buy you food for three or four months one ounce of silver and an ounce of gold will buy you a house a house for thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars in U.S. dollars. So we're starting to see what I've been predicting and talking about for over a year. We're going to see these countries in Central America and South America where everything is going to collapse, and you're going to be able to buy if you don't have gold or silver. You literally have nothing. Paper currency is coming to an end, and we've been talking about that. And it's not going to end next week or next month and probably not even next year. But the point is, it's going to come over into the major G20 countries. And that's the reason they passed this law about um, uh, bail-ins to where they're going to take your money eventually, uh, as we've already seen in several countries. So people, all I can tell you is it is coming. It is coming to you fast. The Sharia law thing that I talk about in detail we have 1 billion, 600 million Muslims living under Sharia law. That's one fifth of the world's population today. And we now see that the World Gold Council is meeting with the accounting and auditing department of Sharia law to change that to where they can own gold for investment and something to make a profit on. And this could be changed as early as next month also. When that happens, you already see the exchanges in Japan that just opened. You're already seeing what opened in April in China, where the public can own fiscal gold and silver. And now we're talking about 
the Muslim uh, people living under Sharia law have the ability and the encouragement to buy gold and silver. And this will change as one fifth of the world's population moves. And there's a lot of detail Jerry and I went into during the webinar that I want you to look at. So basically, what is holding you back? Because let me tell you, I also believe with all my heart, the stock market is about to take a big drop this fall. We know they always go into September and October when gold has its biggest two months, which historically are September and October. Certainly not always, but we also know the stock market has their worst time, and we're looking for a big drop. Because the stock market is only up 3% for this year, and you'd think it's up dramatically because gold and silver are up 29 and 49 percent respectively. So um, we're here to answer your questions. You can reach me or Dan or Kathleen at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. And I want to throw out a few facts in this show. Number one, we only charge 2.5% above our cost for you to buy gold. We only charge 3% above our cost for you to buy silver. We pay the postage and insurance and we charge you nothing when you sell it on the back end. When you look at all that, there's not a better deal anywhere than what we give. And we now have the storage program, the lowest in the world, where you can store your physical gold and silver at IDS Delaware or IDS Toronto. And if it's in a uh, account, uh, a shared account is only 20 basis points a year. This is unheard of. 30 basis points if you want it segregated. It's all segregated, but you want it segregated in your own facility or in a room where my customers have theirs. You get 10 basis points less and six months free rent. So we've seen an explosion and as big investors are moving in. And then the last issue is you can own gold and silver in a self-directed IRA. Give us a call. We'll help you uh, on that. And we think that's going to be a very important fact as more and more people move to precious metals, self-directed IRAs. And we can walk through that and be your broker on that account and help you decide how much gold and silver you want as a percentage and then what kind of gold and silver that you want. So we'll be getting a lot of information coming your way in the next few weeks, but it is officially entered. Gold and silver are in an all-out buy signal issued when we went over 2050 in silver this morning and over 1350 in gold. So we feel we're off to uh, much higher prices in gold and silver. And if there is a 40-ton purchase coming up in the next few weeks, you'll probably see gold at 14. 25 and challenge that next crucial level level of 1426 uh, and there are a couple minor uh, levels in there where there will be some resistance but a lot of this purchasing today is also coming from people covering their short they went short on gold and silver thinking the price run had reached its end but it hasn't so now they're having to go out and buy gold and silver in the fiscal market to cover their spreads that they have with the COMEX contracts. So people, it is exciting. Take care of your money. Get your money into something hard asset because Japan now is printing money. We've talked about the United States is getting ready to have to print money again, even though they won't tell you that. They keep you believing they may raise interest rates. And remember, they've only done it one time in 62 months. They've been talking about it. They've done it one time in 62 months. So hopefully we brought a lot of new information to you. Watch the webinar on Friday when FTM puts it up and give us a call and get whatever percentage you want in gold and silver before the prices get too high. With this week's Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud signing out. Mm -hmm.